hello everyone welcome to pande guruji youtube channel in this video i am going to uh, discuss how we can use the user defined function in the store procedure so i already provided the video uh, total up to 20 uh, 63 video so this is the continue of the uh, complete sql training so if you didn't get a chance just you can go and watch the all the video uh, which i have provided by one by one so you can see i already uploaded the uh, 63 video which is the related to the uh, cross apply versus outer apply so before starting this video number 64 i am just recommend you please go and watch the multi statement uh, table value function uh, which is uh, available the video number 61 so you can also watch all this complete video uh, under the uh, playlist uh, uh, complete sql tutorial uh, which i already created uh, we have some store procedure related uh, tutorial we have uh, uh, interview question related uh, all the playlist so you can go and watch all this video on the uh, single platform if you want to uh connect one to one training if you want to download the training material uh just you can visit pandeguruji.graphy.com uh here we can find the uh, one to one training link and also you can find the all the training material as well so you can enroll on the training program which going to start on the end of this month and uh, this uh, link which 599 available for the complete training video material uh, interview question and you can also download all the video if you have any question uh, you can co contact on the number given on the video description so uh, let's start and discuss how we can use the user defined function in the uh, store procedure uh, i'm going to discuss in the detail uh, how we can use the user defined function uh, within the store procedure this is a very real time scenario uh, so it's very useful to you crack any type of the interview as well okay so let's start with the sql server uh, management studio so i here i have the sql server uh, management studio so uh, why i uh, discuss that you need to be go with the video number 61 so in the video number 61 i discuss the complete detail of the multi statement table value function uh, so basically this function is basically the requirement to a uh, split the string into the row so let me show you what function exactly doing so i am no i will not discuss here uh, the uh, complete uh, uh, what is the functionality so for the functionality point of view you need to be visit the video number 61 so i created the this function so this function is basically uh, when whatever the value you pass here Uh, basically they split into the uh, multi uh, row into column okay so basically uh, whatever the comma separated value you pass they split into the column value like for example uh, if you use this function here let me show you how we can use this so just you can put this select star from uh, this function so here if you pass the any of the value in this function like comma separated value i am passing here uh, i need to be copy this all the value so this all the value is the comma separated value okay so if you run this function here let me put this select star from so here the output will be you can see is coming into the column okay so the value is coming into the column so requirement is so if you have the store procedure and within the store procedure we have to update the multiple uh, parameter value like this is the employee key is there 11000 11001 11050 and at a time if you have to update more than 100 record and the client provided the value with the comma separated or pipe delimited so how you can handle this type of the situation and this question a uh, very uh, frequently you will get into the interview okay so another user defined function i have uh, that is basically used to uh, update the email address okay so email address basically whatever the uh, table we have the pass they updating the email address is the uh, combination of the first name and the last name so for this uh, functionality you need to go with the uh, video number uh, 61 uh, you can uh, 
use uh, that uh, understand complete uh, what the functionality I am doing. I am going to use show you how you can create the store procedure and uh, store procedure before creating the store procedure. I am uh, just uh, passing the customer key and uh, updating the email address. Okay, so if multiple value pass in the execution of the store procedure, we need to be handle that situation. So here the customer key the input parameter. So I created the uh, customer key the where care four thousand. So uh, you can also use the max function here, and I created the one uh, temporary table to hold the whatever the value will be passed so if the user pass like this all this value i am holding into the one temporary table okay so this is the temporary table i created and all value we have in this temp table and i am creating the indexes in this temporary table so if you create the indexes definitely the performance of the code will be high and suppose if any of the value which is passed by the user uh, which is not available into the table like for example uh, this employee ID is the available into database like if you put the select star from dream customer okay so select star from dream customer or dream customer I pass here so in the dream customer table you can see 11,000 uh, employee keys available but if someone pass like 11,000 1 2 3 this is the invalid uh, employee keys pass so how you can handle that if any invalid parameter passed by the uh, invalid parameter passed by the customer okay so for this we use the left join function okay and the, we putting the customer key is there okay so if you well, customer whatever the customer key is the invalid the value will become as the null and we printing uh, printing the error message that customer key provider is not valid okay you need to be passed the correct customer key and if the all the and you need to put the return keyword here the return keyword is basically used to just uh, return from the store procedure if any invalid customer key is supplied so you need to be uh, focused this one uh, this is also very important for the interview point of view and if each and everything is correct i am updating and update statement i am putting into the transaction so I use the uh, update statement, update email address, a uh, dim customer and I join with the parameter temp table. So whatever the value, the input by the customer that only email address will be update. Okay. So if any error, error will be occurred, we put it the transaction and we put it for the displaying the output purpose. So let me create the store procedure. Okay. So I'm creating the store procedure in a SQL training database and uh, here uh, i'm executing the parameter so let's see one i'm going to stop pass one invalid uh, uh, employee ID, customer key which is not available into the database so if you try to execute you will get an error that uh, uh, this is the customer key provided is not valid so pre-validated so this work the this part of the code okay so this part of the code we use the left join here so if you if you use the correct uh, parameter the all the output will be updated so basically you can see the all the email address will be updated the combination of the first name and the last name so you can see j young is updated uh, uh, e young is updated but other than this customer uh, other than this customer key if you want to see this is not updated okay like for example we not pass the year uh, 007 okay so 007 is the showing the all the uh, only the previous uh, whatever the email address we have but uh, whatever the pass we have you can see this is got updated combination of the first name and the last name so this is the perfect example to use the uh, user defined function into the store procedure uh, based on the requirement whatever we have so if you have any question uh, if you have any doubt on this you can ping on the uh, comment box and uh, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for the watching complete this video.